What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Storm Striker SX9 here with GSL and Spooktoberfest 2023. The next game that I will be doing is for Friday the 13th, 2023, in the month of October, no less. That would be October 13th, 2023, on a Friday. And the game we're going to be doing for Friday the 13th is The Evil Within 1. I will be playing the PC version of The Evil Within. You can also find this game on the PS4, the Xbox One as well. And on the PC, you can find it on Steam, goodoldgames.com, the Microsoft Store through the PC Game Pass. And of course, I think it may also be on the Epic Game, Epic Game Store as well. I may have to double check on that one. And I may also double check to see if this game is also on the Switch. I highly doubt that, but you never know. Um, but yeah, I, I did look up to see that this particular game, The Evil Within, is one of the perfect games to play during Friday the 13th. Not just the Friday the 13th video game. They, they, it's recommended that The Evil Within is another perfect game to play on that day as well. And to have Friday the 13th on in the month of October makes it even more creepy. Just saying. So yeah, that is what we're going to be playing for this video. Just so you know, it may end up being a long play video as well. Probably aiming for 50 to 60 minutes. We'll see. Depending on how the start of the game goes. Usually there's a long cut scene in the beginning of the game you know long intro things like that and a tutorial and we may not get into any action until you get through the prologue of the game as well because there's the prologue too um but yeah just so you know this game is going to be jump scareville just warning you, uh, Starman 3 and Demi Fire and CD ROM 1019 and uh, Fulcrum, Vincent, anybody that likes horror games. Um, this game will make you jump out of your seat and probably make you hit your head on the, floor, on the ceiling. That's how this is going to be one of those jump scare games. I believe this game also has quick time events, if I do remember. And I did read, it said that The Evil Within is also a bit like Resident Evil style survival horror. This is a survival horror, by the way. There will be over the, I believe it's going to be over the shoulder, a third person view. And things like that. There will be guns and melee weapons. And yes, there will be chase scenes too. And the chase scenes is probably where it is quick time event. But yeah. Um, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to click the like button. Comment below. Share with your friends. Add the videos and click that subscribe button. And also click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. This video and game will also be rated in for mature or peggy 18 wherever you are in the world and just fair warning there will be blood and language in this game too probably so yeah um let's get in this shall we i may not talk a lot in this because i want it nice fresh for all your jump scare needs i may say something occasionally but you know Let's get into this. All right. So let's see here. Like I said, I'm playing the PC version of The Evil Within. I'm playing the one from goodoldgames.com, but I also believe I have this on my Steam account as well. I also own this game for the Xbox One as well. I basically have three different versions of this game. So yeah. 
This version of it has all the DLCs, by the way. But we'll, we'll mess with that another time. Yeah, we got the, the brightness settings. You can have... All right, there is a... There is a difficulty settings for this game. You got survival, which is standard difficulty, challenge, and overcome your fears. And then you got casual, for the weak and heart fearful, auto aiming enabled by default, and slightly more ammo than normal, which is good. Okay, for those of you that want to play this game in survival, Go right ahead. It is supposed to be a survival horror game, so there you go. I think there's a third difficulty that you unlock after you beat the game the first time as well. That makes it go up to three skulls, I think. If I do remember correctly. So we're going to be playing this game on casual... This is a, this is my first time playing this game for Grand Star Legion as well, so yeah. Here we go, guys! One eight four copy code three ETA three minutes. Copy one eight four. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. Said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. One three one, please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? 127, 124, please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene, respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problems with on the scene. memorial on Is there any... God damn it! Jesus! <laughs> Junior Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Smells like blood. All right, stay sharp. We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup.
Did you hear something? Someone alive in here. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. There's your quick time events right there. That's some of it. And that's why you can't play this game. That happened.
Here's the chase scene. I died immediately right there, too. See what I mean? We're not continuing until I know what the run button is. Sprinting's not working. I don't like this! Whoa! Welcome to Survival Horror. By the way, I think there may be undead in this game as well. And disfigured people. Probably cannibals as well. Where's the exit? Yeah, the word cannibals should make you uncomfortable.
What you just saw was a glimpse of this game. Basically a wannabe Leatherface. That's all he was, a wannabe Leatherface. And this is where you hide. If he opens this door, we're dead. If he opens this door, we we are dead. That is one rampaging leather face. A butcher with a chainsaw. And he's coming back. And this is why we stay in the door. Because he may come back. Probably asking why am I still in here? That guy out there. If I go out there, we're dead. I don't even know which way to go after this. But you had a good glimpse of this game so far, didn't you? Only 25 minutes in? Oh, man. What do you think, uh, Starman, about this game? What about you, Demi? Oh, my gosh. We're dead, nice knowing you.
See, we're not able to escape because of that issue. I guess we're staying in here. Well, there's your little glimpse of the evil within. Died like we died like three times, anyways. So, we just got done experiencing the evil within. One. Wow, what did you guys think? I had to stop there because there's no way I'm going to get out of there. I got stuck in that same spot when I first played this game. Ugh. Anyways, um... Let's just say I never got unstuck from that. And I haven't played it ever since. Um, I'm just going to say this. I think the Evil Within 2 is a lot better than the first game. Just saying that there. So, just a small glimpse of the Evil Within is scary. A lot of chasing. Guy of the Chainsaw. Leatherface wannabe once again. Anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add a favorite, and click that subscribe button. And click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. This video was specifically for Friday the 13th, which, is, which was on October 13th, 2023. The month of being, and for Friday the 13th to be in the month of October makes it even more scarier. But don't go anywhere. There will be another scary game for October 31st. So stay tuned. Until then, I'm Stormstriker Esix9, part of Grand Star Legion, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, I may do The Evil Within 2 as well.